All right. All right, well, here we are on a first map of week two, starting a little bit later than we anticipated. So hopefully we'll be able to speed up the times here. But um, we are looking at demons versus werewolves. So two teams that are eager to get a first win under their belts going into week two. Uh, the teams that do have wins are going to be at an advantage when it comes to finals week. So we're hoping, these teams are hoping to walk away this week with a win. We are on the newest map right now, Junker Town, which uh, some players really have kind of like a love-hate relationship with. So you'll notice right out the gate this initial section is really open. So a lot of times defending teams don't find that they have really good places to hold. Typically places that we'll see teams hold are going to be this causeway right here, which is pretty common. You can see Sage already setting up there, Riser setting up as well. You have the advantage of being able to defend yourself along those ramparts. Um, having a couple other issues here, hold on. What is the issue? What do you mean? It doesn't exist. It's not on there. If you hit P, it doesn't show up. Is he invited? Yeah. All right, and we're back. Simple fix there. Hopefully. All right, we are back in action. A number of some issues here building into it. Um, we are, uh, so again, like I was saying, Junker Town, big open area here in the front, which can be challenging for some teams to deal with. Um, it kind of creates a unique situation. A lot of times in Overwatch, it's around choke defense, but um, with this map, it kind of puts that away and doesn't allow that to happen. 
We've got a lot of opportunity for some Chorbjorn, some Symmetra uh, as well, because we've got uh, a lot of isolated areas here that can help out. But we see here, fresh out of the gate, looks like we've got a, a pharmacy there working there. We got Mercy in the back there as Mr. Pick Picks. The payload's moving along very nicely there. We've got our Diva and... Uh, and right away, Team Werewolf picks up two picks, which is going to make this push pretty easy for them as they're just completely walking over Team Demons right now. Well, they just took out both their tanks and a healer and their flanker, which was Genji there. So they're going to go uncontested here as they move towards this checkpoint. This is pretty dominating uh, first part of the map here on Team Werewolf. Um, I think sometimes when we have a lot of those computer issues, it does kind of throw off some of the vibes. So. It does. I mean, I think you can probably tell in our voices. We're all shaken up trying to get it to work, and now we got to jump back in here and make sure we got yep. good but coverage. Ooh! Demon's not going off out of fight, but unfortunately Cupcake goes down early there, and they do manage to cap the point, despite Sage just trying to land on there, and uh, Team Werewolf's just keeping it going. I don't know if they've... Oh, I was going to say, I think that might be their first target that they've dropped. So this is a very tight area in Junkertown. As we come in here around, there's a very tight bend, um, and you're up against the wall. So there's a lot of opportunity here for a lot of splash damage to start start taking, taking out the team. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's a lot different than what we just had. So we went from a really wide open spot to a lot closer here. Fera friendly to not Fera friendly. Let's see what we can do here. We got a shock and awe. On our Winston there, just kind of jumping around. That mobility is great. Pick picks, pops his alt. But this is looking like an old Team Werewolf matchup here. There's not a whole lot of contention here. So what we're seeing here is Team Demons is just not able to recollect themselves. We haven't seen a full team six on six really occurring at all here. And uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be really challenging to hold these points as now Team Werewolf picks up another one right out the gate. So if you're sitting here and looking at Team Demons, what would I noticed a little bit of trickle there? Um, you know, are there any overarching themes we could we could throw out there as as what their failing point is? Right now they need to like get some level of communication. You can see Orisa's shield up out to the side, so now he's repositioned to at least defend a little bit, but. I mean, all this ground is just completely uncontested. We've got Reaper on the high ground, Farah up top. They're walking the payload. Uh, if your team where, or if your team demons, you got to figure out how are you going to contest any of this. And uh, they're just not putting themselves in a good position to be contested. Look at all that stuff up top. That's just going to collapse on them. Yeah, I was going to say with the moving platforms like that. There goes Reaper. We're looking at an all drop down. Yeah, and right away, just. A lot of depth. Cupcake, he pops are all trying to buy a little time, but this is werewolf all day long. Oh, I noticed that's a reoccurring theme with that Zen out there, keeping alive. It's 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 effective in putting a little bit of delay there as the rest of your team collects themselves. Yeah, they just might have something out of. Oh no, werewolf just keeping it going here. This is definitely one of the more one-sided matchups that we've seen in a long time here. Very quick. But I think for Team Demons to really recollect themselves and try and make something happen, they're going to need some anchoring. And a lot of times that's the Orisa. You want to gather behind and hold. Mm -hmm. That's not at all what we saw in these teams this time around. Um, Team Werewolf just looked you know, like a hot knife through butter, just running it down. On this last point right here, abusing this high ground is really important as you're attacking team. And if you're not able to mount some sort of defense, you're going to be in a tough spot. I don't feel like Team Demons really had a response for the Pharah. Um, and they kept getting picked off. They weren't really using the shields very well. Um, so it was hard for them to stabilize when targets kept going down and down. And each fight that we had there was a 5v6. I don't even think we saw really a single good team fight that whole matchup. So that's definitely not how you want to start game one. Yeah. And then the maps for today, if you can remind me, were Junkertown, Watchpoint Gibraltar, was it Ilios? Uh, yes. We're gonna check our, check our Overwatch Chicago computer right now. Right, yeah, we're gonna have to double check eat, that. Boop, eat, boop. 
So we also can't stress enough the uh, mental component here. You know, for Team Demons, how do you, you know, how do you recollect off this? We've got an attack symmetric coming in, uh, which is Ooh. a little risky. Um, but you never know. I mean, sometimes those sort of things do pay off. My instinct, though, is typically they don't. <laughs> yeah, Ilios is the other one. All right, quick note here. I'm just going to do as we're getting here to ready. and just made a quick adjustment to our little sound setup here. So uh, let us know if that's better. Go ahead and uh, respond in the chat. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got an interesting setup here. Baker's going along the side. You know, that is helpful for breaking through the shield. Um, question, though, is, is it going to be enough? Or not so much breaking through the shield, but just damaging through the shield. So we got Team Demons doing a little bit better job collecting there. Shigakuru picks up an early two kills. Really awesome work there. Forces the res out of Mercy. Uh, Baker picks up a kill on Reaper, so the attack sim does seem to be somewhat working. Unfortunately, or no, Sage is picking up the Blitz. They're going to need to do some work there on the fair if they plan to uh, be able to push through this point. He's got a drop, and Baker picking up another one, but finally gets taken down by the D.Va. Well, notice we do, I was going to say, notice we do have some uh, team comp changes there as well. Yeah, and despite, you know, how hard it was for uh, Team Demons to prevent Werewolf from pushing in, Team Demons is also kind of running down Werewolf here. So, interesting setup. And Shigakuru doing a great job on that Rhine, picking up kills. Sage, or Riser, already has his ult on Farah, And now Team Demons is running this back just as quickly. So, oh, very interesting turn of events there as uh, Team Werewolves was not able to contain that aggression. Now we're getting into this more tightly knit component here. Um, both teams run in the pharmacy, which can be pretty effective if you don't have a hit scan that can deal with it. We'll see which one comes out on top. Demons look like they have an answer with Sage, but I'm not really seeing anybody on Werewolf to take out the the Fera. Maybe in these tight corridors, we could count on Diva to maybe do that. Great all coming about for Shigakuru, and that's behind the Diva all. Definitely pays off by Luda. Uh, the Shield Gen does go down, but it's at the cost of Blitz's life, so it's hard to know if that's worth it. And now they're just continuing to pick up. Baker's back to 20%, and uh, the sim offensive Sim seems to be somewhat paying off here. Honestly, I think these teams are running these almost the exact same speed. Yeah, this is pretty wild. I should have—I didn't write down my time checks from the last one, but it does seem very similar. It's looking like they're going to... Oh, nope, they're contesting. Werewolves contesting right at the last second. This is something that Demons was not very good at doing, but you can tell Werewolves is much better at it. But they do manage to cap it despite Sinner taking down most of the team. It's a good alt usage, but just barely not enough time, and Riser picks up the Reaper, and even if, um, you know, even if Demons doesn't stabilize, they're still going to be able to keep moving this point. Their spawn is so close, it almost doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, uh, it's funny seeing this new map, kind of remembering where the spawn points are. We've talked about that in past games. Uh, you do have to take that into account on where what areas you want to contest is. How close are you to respawn? Uh, and that that is a factor so this work on Shigakuru doing a great job so far kind of leading his team and so they really needed this type of defense sage though picking up three huge kills right there and the mercy he's completely rolling through this team right here jeez the reapers on point but I don't think it's gonna be enough Shigakuru misses the charge but he's still in good shape Sage, though, doing an unbelievable job, just picking up target after target, not giving him an opportunity to breathe. And look at how fast this is coming in. This is only five seconds slower right now. But are they able to make this final push? This is the all. Two goes down, one for one. Team Werewolves, though, picking up. Alt comes down from Shigakuru, only manages to pick up one, but it might be enough. Does a wild charge, picks up the D.Va. Mercy's looking at one right there for Team Werewolf. They're able to take her out. They're going to be in really good shape, but Pick Pick's already flying up. Don't have a whole lot to deal with. And Cupcake, he tries to get a res in that D.Va, doesn't manage to pop it off. She's going to go down. And Team Werewolf's is going to stabilize pretty convincingly here. And so that was a good hold. Yeah, 
That's what Team Demons needed to do here. And we're going to see if they're able to do it. So they found the shield here. Not that well hidden, yeah. but yes. Um, well, to us, it's not hidden, but... Shigakuru goes down defending it and gets rezzed by Cupcakey. So you'll notice Team Werewolves is doing a much better job defending that high ground. Look at that. They've got Winston up there. They've got Lucio. They're not giving up that ground for free. That's a big thing that Demon wasn't able to do. And they're trying to collapse, but right now, Werewolves definitely pushing back. A lot of alts are coming down at inopportune times. It's a lot of alt trades there. It is, and it looks like it's going to be... So Demons also could do the same uh, strat that Werewolf was doing with a, you know, kind of a drop-down uh, approach there based on where the payload is. If you look at Ryan's alts ready to go, and they could partner that on up with Diva's alt as well. So they can't, oh, it looks like we got Luda going up in the top position there. Sage yeah. right behind. Yeah, they're hoping to make oh. the most out of this soldier up here. Sage really got him this far in the first place, but I don't know if he's going to be able to deal with all these targets himself. Uh, he did it before. We'll see if he does it again. Yeah, ult coming down. Baker goes down. You know, you got to wonder, is this sim pick still working? Um, especially at this standstill. Yeah, this far in the game, I would be voicing to switch out the, the sim. But stranger things have happened. We got soldier on soldier action there. Blitzbolt and Sage both opt to save their skins and jump back a little bit. But now they're back at it. Sage going back down again, taking the low ground. Again, I'm not. I'm kind of surprised Werewolf is not opting to go up and drop down. No one seems to be... Oh. Or uh, Demons, rather. I, yeah. I misspoke. I meant no, to say sorry. I'm not surprised that Demons is not willing to take the high ground as a group, but it looks like they're pushed back a little too far now to recollect and, and try that. And they don't need to necessarily you know, take over the point, right? They just need to defend, and that's mm -hmm. exactly what they're doing. They're buying a lot of time, kind of baiting him into these awkward exchanges, and you can see Shock and All just kind of picking around. He's going to pick up that uh, a Mercy if she's not careful. She goes down. Oh. You well, know, they made it pretty far here, but I think they're going to have a lot of trouble stabilizing. This is how Demons, I think, lost the first run-throughs. Look at this. Lack of uh, coordination. Teams are kind of flying all over the place here. Well, they threw, you could tell that uh, Werewolf threw a wrench in their spokes when they broke them down a little bit, and now you can tell they're a little bit in panic mode. Uh, so we'll see if they can bring it back together here. Baker switched over to Lucio. I think that's a good pick. Um, might be a little bit too late, unfortunately. Um, I mean, his sim really did help a lot bringing him into this point, but... They did start to contest this. You can see again, look at that. Team Werewolves above, getting ready to drop into it. Cupcake, he's in the kind of meat grinder with D.Va and Reaper. That is a deadly look, combination in that tight corridor. You can see these isolated fights are taking place, and they're all in Werewolves' favor. Demon looks like a bunch of players that are doing their own thing, you know? You see the Werewolf, you know, you see the Fair All taking place over there. You see Ryan defending the payload with no other players. Team Demons is definitely having a little bit of a communication block up, I would say. We're down here. It doesn't look like Demons is going to be able to grab this. No, this is going to be it. This is uh, Team Werewolf's first pick up here, and they're looking to walk away with a big win. Yes. So good first uh, first game that kind of did turn into something there at the end. And this, uh, we got our player of the game coming out of Blitzball. Let's see what he's got here. So this is on the offensive, and there's just tons of offense coming in there. I nice use say, of those, did nice he use really of those blades. That? I don't know. Well, we'll give him one of the vinyls anyways. I'm going to uh, queue up, and I'll go hand this to Yeah, I would give Blitz. it to Sinner, too, if you can. Sinner right. and Blitz? Yeah. All right.